y'all want to talk some shit about Klee, right? Newsflash for you, kid. Klee's not bad. You're f bad. It's all here real quick. We're gonna drop this We're gonna get a real deep. We're gonna pop this little charge. Oh, uh, look, I get it. it's not everybody. Okay, it's not everybody. Don't be like, oh, take note. I don't think she's bad. Why are you yelling at me? I'm just saying, there's so many people shit talking my girl, Klee. Just because she's a little bit harder to play and she's different from any other character that's been put out so far. I'm gonna just say this right now. In case you don't know, Klee's auto attacks break Geo and break shields. Did you know that before you dismiss this character? Character? Yes, her auto attacks do the same thing as Claymore's, which, by the way, is very good. Also, no. Klee is not an assist. You can play her as one if you have her at C4. You could. It's fine. But, dog, this girl is a main damage dealer. The reason why I love Klee so much is because, once again, she is different from any other unit in the game, which adapts a new play style for the rest of the game. She can unlock teams that otherwise wouldn't work. She also unlocks a new role as an assist DPS. And the reason why that is is because you can run Klee as your main DPS, and then you run another character as an assist, but then you also use them as a backup DPS for any mob that she can't hit. In case in case you don't know, all of Klee's kit is pyro from her E to her Q, as well as every single auto. This is a character that cannot deal physical damage, which will let you adapt a character from a main assist role to a assist and DPS role. This is gonna give you some crazy coverage, and Klee also unlocks ridiculous alt spam, considering that every single time her charge attack crits, that's two energy for the entire team, and that's per mob hit. So right now, I already showed you a taste of what Klee can do but let me just tell you something real quick my clee is absolute dog shit from what it could be the artifact set i have on her is berserkers you don't want to run her on berserkers the set that you want to run her on is this one right here which is flower of blaze let me read you this set let me let me let me, let me tell you a couple things real quick about this set before you dismiss clee when you're running on your broken ass gladiator and berserker set hold up okay pyro damage bonus plus 15%. In case you don't know, that's 15% overall damage increase for her entire kit, auto, E, and Q. Okay, keep that in mind, all right? Four piece, increase overload and burning damage by 40%, increases vaporize and melt damage by 15%, using an elemental skill, increases a two piece set effect by 50% for 10 seconds, max three stacks, and by the way, her E, you can toss it out twice for a quick proc of increase the uh, elemental bonus bonus by 100%. So that means that the pyro damage can increase by 30% overall. You can do that shit fast as fuck. You get this set, you're not going to go wrong. Another big thing that you really want to do is you want to get your crit caps as high as possible, okay? I believe the cap is 85%. You want to hit that as quickly as possible. That way you can synergize with your uh with your um with your talent right here, which is when a charge attack results in a crit, all party members gain two elemental energy. Now you might be wondering, Tech Don, I can't just charge attack all the time that eats stamina. Don't worry. There's also her other talent, Pounding Surprise, which is when when Jumpy Dumpty and normal attacks deal damage, Klee has a 50% chance to obtain an explosive spark, which gives you a free charge attack, and it's gonna do 50% more damage. And by the way, this is going to happen all the time. You're gonna be able to spam this shit like crazy. Now I will also say, some people say that Klee is only good once you get C4. That's not true. She's still good at Constellation Zero. She's very good. The problem is that people that have with her is that it's very hard to space with this character. She is one of the harder to play characters, okay? She's not just like Delirio, E hit, E hit, E hit, or Venti, <laughs> uh, uh, suck, suck, suck. No, with Klee, dude, you gotta be careful for positioning because her auto attack rates, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty damn short, especially when you go from this range like that auto attack range that shit is short and not to mention this bomb thing bounce 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 mines they go everywhere and these mines don't get sucked unless you use an e and they don't work with venti's alt for some reason right now uh hopefully they patch that in the future but they do work with sucrose so sucrose clee is nuts but the amount of damage this character can do if you use the right team comp with her is re 
ridiculous. And the utility that these mines give you, because not to mention, these little mines can also send uh, smaller units flying in the air, which is a lot of utility when you keep in mind how many mines are actually here. But when you press the Q, man, the damage that's going to come out of this little girl is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Now, there's a lot of weapon recommendations going around right now. There is the Atlas. You can use Atlas if you like, but the five star that I prefer on my Klee, once again, this is just the way that I play it. You experiment with whatever you like. The five star that I like on Klee is Lost Prayer to the Sacred Rens, and here's why. It gives you a shit ton of crit rate, which you need a ton of in order to hit that cap. And also, it's gonna give you 10% increased movement speed and also the elemental damage bonus, 8% every four seconds for 16 seconds. That can total up to 32% only at refined one. But the reason why I like this one the most is because I really like the utility of the movement speed because you got to get in there. You got to make sure that you're dodging shit and the extra movement speed is going to help a lot. Now, if you don't have that weapon, that's okay. I would not make this video and say, hey, get clean and get a five-star weapon. There you go. No, we do have a backup. The weapon that I would be using on Klee, which honestly would still be good even now, I would be using Sacrificial Fragments. Okay, after damaging an opponent with an elemental skill, you get 80% chance to end its own CD. Can only occur once every 16 seconds. That's okay, because that's also going to enable, get this, the set that I mentioned earlier in the video, the, the Crimson Witch Flame one. So that way you can get all three stacks going at the same time that way your pyro damage is going to be flying even further so if you don't have lost part of the second wins i think sacrificial fragments is absolutely hunky dory and if you lose the crit rate from this that's okay because then you can just main set a crit rate main set item on your kit and you'll be good to go once again go crit rate and then the pyro damage bonus it's all very so make sure you go pyro damage bonus as well okay I'm going to tell you all this right now while we also continue demoing out Klee's damage that is deemed unoptimal and a character that's just not very good, as people have been saying. Once again, not everybody, but people keep on DMing, being like, oh, dude, I rolled for Klee and she's garbage. Why did I spend so much money on her? Dude, that's your own damn fault. Don't don't bitch about Klee not being broken because you spent your entire life savings on it. That's your own damn fault, okay? You should have researched. All right, I think Klee is amazing, and I still think she's amazing, okay? Start every fight with max stamina, otherwise you're going to get absolutely boned, okay? Now, once again, you do the same shit with sucrose and if you don't believe me don't worry stick around for the rest of the video we're gonna do we're gonna do sucrose next in case anybody thinks oh dude it's just venti it's just venti and once again this stage sucks because you have to be super mobile and then once again Klee's kid is super clunky and it's very hard to be mobile with all right here we go we're gonna drop fish once again as you can see i decimated that first pack i decimated that shit and as, as once again you saw my gear ain't that good dude okay pop the cue we're going to dismantle this shit here and now okay are you are you are, are we are we oh are we underwhelmed by this damage are we underwhelmed by this because i'm pretty sure this girl is absolutely exoding these fools okay so once again 42 seconds 42 seconds we did that entire run 42 seconds barely used fish barely used gene i used venti like once for an alt dog please damage is re ridiculous it is ridiculous now the other thing about Klee where i say oh you got a player different she's hard on other characters is there is ways to min max or dps with once again aren't always practical they aren't always practical but you can do them as you can tell Klee's autos are slow as shit okay the first ability is going to scale for about 80 percent of your attack the second ability is going to scale for about 70 percent of your attack and your third ability is going to scale for about 100 percent of your attack okay so with the time it takes to do all three of those eh that's it's fine it's fine but you can also just spam her first attack by just by like jumping and throwing shit or holding w you can hold w like this and tap w this w this w this w this w this w this and you can do some more damage that being said it is highly highly unlikely that you will find a way to do that in combat now you might think that you're locked in when that you when you do the charge attack but you're actually not locked in so you can actually charge attack and just jump out and it'll still go so you can just do that in case you want to do the charge up with a little bit more build, a little bit more mobility. So just in case you still think Klee is bad as a character, don't worry. We're going to be keep on making a shit ton of videos for Klee until people believe in the justice for Klee movement, okay? We're going to go ahead and drop this all here real quick. We're going to drop this here. We're going to get in real deep. We're going to pop this little charge attack. We're going to go pop my alt. And as you can tell, uh, everything in there, dude, not going to lie, as you can tell, uh, you may not have noticed this, we didn't just kill the four slimes that were in there. We killed the, we killed six, okay? So this character 
hits really fucking hard. Can you tell that this character hits really fucking hard? Because in case you can't tell, this character hits really fucking hard. And now here's where you bring in the uh, the sub route for Venti. Okay, you use him and I run him on uh, Rust. That way he can still do some decent damage, but that way we still have some auto attacks. I hope nobody thinks that I'm saying, oh, Glee just shits on Luke in every way, shape, or form. No, what I'm saying is, this is what I'm saying, okay? Do not overlook Klee. She hits really hard. She's harder to play, but that's okay because Klee does a fuck ton of damage. No, this is not my Venti doing all this damage, okay? My Venti is just grouping them up. That's absolutely it, man. It's abs It's not Venti's alt. It's literally, it is literally all clay. The damage that she does is absolutely ludicrous, man. Like, oh, it, it's, I, I can't get over it. I cannot get over it how much I love this unit. I have never had this much fun using this, uh, using a unit in such a long time. She is so much fun and she's so fun to play and you can actually feel yourself, like literally, literally, literally. You'll use Klee. And for the first like two hours, you'll be like, oh, this unit shit. But if you keep playing her, if you learn her range, if you learn her play style, you will start to understand that what you have is a gem of a character. Am I saying she's perfect? No, I'm not. Obviously, there are some things that I would totally change. I think her charge attack range should be a little bit longer. I think her auto attack range should be a little bit longer. I feel like her um, squishiness is definitely an issue. I feel like she has a little bit more mitigation. And then I also feel um, that her mines should be heat seeking and go to whatever target that's close to her, uh, closest to them, because right now the range is too goddamn hard to set up. Is Kalia a perfect unit? No. Is she terrible? Fuck no, okay? She's awesome. I love her, and she definitely deserves to be a five-star. We're gonna bust this shit open right now. Sucrose, you can suck him in. Klee, jerk him off. You go in, Zhang Ling, pop the alt. Go fish, drop the E. Go back, Klee, pop the E. Hey, hey, icicles, stop, okay? Now give me a second. Let me pop this. There you go. You are getting your absolute ass eaten right now. Go ahead. There you go, big numbers, big numbers, big numbers. Go in here, drop the Q. Go right there, drop the E. Swap back to Klee, pop the E. Go back to Klee, pop the alt. Dodge the icicles. Go, 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 charge, bop! <laughs> oh, that is some fine damage. These are fine damage numbers, dude, trust me. Trust me, these numbers, they are fine, dude. They are fine. So as you can see, in case you can't tell, Klee hits really fucking hard it's not the other units is that Klee hits like a god damn truck and is it because my stats are absolutely ludicrous no we'll show it right now i'm adventurer rank 40 i'm doing level appropriate content here's my Klee. i don't even have 2k attack okay that's an absolute joke my stats they're fine they're nothing ludicrous. My artifacts, they're okay. They're not even 20. They're 16, they're 20. Once again, these substats, dude, they're terrible. Pa dude, literally, pause my video. Pause my video while you like and comment. Look at how shit, like literally, look at how shit these are, man. They're garbage, like defense, HP, defense, energy recharge. This one is really good. Well, it's okay. Attack, crit rate, wow. This one, look, HP, defense, attack. HP, you know, it's like, okay, they're, they're literally nothing special. Oh, 2.5% crit rate. No, dude, like the things I have with this character are terrible. They can be so much better. But like, I'm so tired of people shitting on Klee because they do not understand her yet. It blows because people are going to make people who rolled Klee on the banner and spend like $200 feel like shit. And when a free to play player can invest all their primo gems to get a character that they like and get this, there's, there's not really that much not to like. She's adorable. Okay, dude, if you go to a cliff, check this shit out. Still think Klee's bad? Then watch this shit. Dog, she cannonballs just like Chi Chi, dude. It's adorable, dude. It's adorable. Oh, dude, this alone, man. This alone. That, oh, oh, dude, that, this. That makes it all, hey, well, not that one, not that one. But this, that makes it all worth it, man. That makes it all worth it. So the thing that I think that Klee needs in a team comp is one, obviously you're going to need a healer, okay? I really think she needs a healer to work. 
And then from there, I think she needs somebody to suck people in and crowd control them, okay? So I think Sucrose, you can do Jean as a two and one because she has a suck and a heal, a venti if you have them. You can even use the main character on Animo if you like. Honestly, MC on Animo really ain't that bad. And then also, you should also run her with an electric unit. I think that Klee and Fish go hand in hand. It's gonna cause overload, which is going to take her AOE damage and amplify it even more. So yeah, running her with a fish is also a great idea. Hopefully you have a fish. If not, you can probably pair her with a Lisa. It's fine, but still think fish is way better so all in all hopefully you learned a couple things from this video and one thing is hey watch your fucking mouth before you talk about my girl because i'll slap your goddamn head off your fucking shoulders kid leave clea alone she's fine where she's at could she use a buff sure is she dog shit fuck no fuck you okay clea's a beast now fuck off kid like comment subscribe if you believed in Glee, you're a goddamn hero. Hey, me and you, let's make out, dude. If you didn't appreciate Glee, hey, that's okay. Make sure to press like and subscribe to say that you're sorry. Bye.